closer I should have kissed you Your hair was longer I pulled away from it and moved to the city Hello my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I'm sure you guys have already read the title. I filmed a what I eat in a week video because you guys seem to really enjoy those videos. And I feel like the entire tracking my calories for a week and not tracking my calories for a week becomes very controversial. Like I get a lot of mixed reviews. Usually when I take a poll, the one that usually wins is where I show the calories, but I get a lot of personal messages, like a lot of personal messages that say they don't like seeing the calories there. So I'm just I'm just gonna ask you guys one more time which one you would rather see. I personally never track my calories unless it is for video purposes and the only reason I do that is because I used to track my calories very tediously and I would beat myself up if I ever went over the amount of calories I was allowed to eat. And the reason I track my calories for video purposes just to show you guys and to show my past self that tracking my calories and whether I went over them for a day or two or three doesn't matter as much as I used to think it did. It doesn't matter at all. So yeah, I just kind of showed you guys in this video what I ate for this week. I had a very stressful week. Number one, I live in the United States of America. And I was also on my period, so it was just a match made in hell. I also only film five days a week because I need time to edit, so that's why it's more of like a what I eat in a working week. So yeah, I hope that doesn't bother you too much. If you guys end up enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hate it, which I would not blame you for, you can give it a thumbs down, that's okay too. And of course, subscribe for more content for your certified damsel in distress. So I'm not gonna keep rambling, my interests tend to be way too long because I don't know how to shut up. So let's just get on with the video. So for the first day, this day was actually Halloween, so to get in a little Halloween festive mood, I brought out this spooky mug, which I got from Home Goods, and I made this moon tea, which is just a spin on the recipe from Queen Michelle Fawn. I just used some oatmeal cookie creamer, which is my favorite creamer, and some coconut almond koya drink. To be honest, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce the brand name, but it's too late for me to change it now. And then I have been absolutely obsessed with this hot cinnamon sunset tea. I get it from Target, if you're wondering. But all I do is I let the tea bag soak in the creamer and all that stuff while my kettle is boiling the water, and then I add the boiling water, and then I let the tea bag steep in that for about five minutes. And yeah, that's about it. I drink this tea every single morning, by the way. I just didn't film it every day because that would just be too repetitive. For a pre-breakfast snack lately, I've been a addicted to these peanut butter filled pretzels. They're so good. It's just a lovely combination of flavors. Oh my God, Gordon Ramsay who? I just had a couple servings of those before I had my actual breakfast, which was oatmeal, a classic for me. I've shown how to make my oatmeal so many times already. I feel like it's embarrassing and really annoying. But for those of you that are new, first of all, welcome. And it's really simple. I like to mix my protein powder on the side because when I do that, I don't get any like protein chunks in my oatmeal. <laughs> like if I were to just put the powder straight in the oatmeal, I feel like it doesn't mix as well. So I just mix some protein powder with cinnamon and cashew milk on the side. And then for the oats, I just use quick oats. I microwave it for two minutes, really easy. And then I add the protein mixture to it. I then like to add some chia seeds as well as some salt. And then for today, I sliced up an apple. That was my fruit of choice. And I finally brought my lazy ass to Trader Joe's to pick up my favorite nut butter of all time, which is their raw creamy almond butter, the texture is just like oh my god it's immaculate and um that was my halloween breakfast <laughs> And after that, I had a pretty busy day, and uh, by busy, I mean I spent an embarrassing amount of time playing Genshin Impact. So by the time I was done, it was too late for me to like make a lunch and also fit in a dinner. So I decided to treat myself, and by treat myself, I mean I spent a little extra money. Can I afford that? No, but that's why I'm calling it treating myself. And I went to my favorite vegan place nearby, which is Ground Foods Cafe, and I got myself a pizza. I love their Parmigiano pizza, and I like to add mushrooms and seitan to mine and in my personal opinion i much prefer pizza to halloween candy that's just me yes i ate the entire thing of course like that should be a given for me <laughs> my dessert was kind of random i just had some peanut butter cookies which kind of remind me of these girl scout cookies i used to love i forgot the name of them oh my god i'm like a fake girl scout i did girl scouts from the ages of 4 to 18 that's a fun fact about your girl but then i also had some chocolate chip animal crackers and i was trying to figure out what animal this was and it was a fox very cute <laughs> Day two, I decided on eating some apple cinnamon pancakes. And if you watch all my videos, you would know I tried to make these in my weird food combinations video and I was forced, 
forced against my will to try to eat these with tomato soup, which was, it was an experience. But for today, I just made them by themselves. And instead of tomato soup, I drizzled on some Trader Joe's raw creamy almond butter. And then I like to have my maple syrup on the side and I just use the rest of this because there wasn't much left. And I am a dipper when it comes to like maple syrup and ketchup and things like that. But nut butter is a different story. I don't know why it just, it just is. <laughs> For lunch, this was a lunch I used to show a lot, but it's one of my favorite sandwiches to make at home because it's really quick, it's easy, it tastes pretty good, and I am lazy. <laughs> so I like to put the Super Greens burger in the toaster oven, and then I put the buffalo chicken tenders in the air fryer. I could just stick to one appliance, but I just like the outcome of each one better with that certain appliance. I don't know, I'm just making it more complicated. But it's really easy. I just toasted some bread, spread on my favorite garlic hummus. I literally eat this hummus so much. I think I have a problem. But then I add the chicken tenders and then the burger, cut it diagonally, obviously, because I'm not a psychopath. And I can't have a sandwich, personally, I can't do it without having some type of fries or some chips on the side. So I had some of these sweet and spicy chili rice crackers and that was my lunch. Okay, y'all. I don't know what happened. I mean, I do. I was on my period and usually my appetite on my period is like through the roof, but every now and then I'll have a week where the side effects of having a uterus are just brutal. And today was one of those days. A few hours after I had lunch, I had the worst migraine and my cramps were pretty unbearable. Like I could hardly stand while I was cooking this meal. Honestly, I didn't want to eat at all, but I knew I had to eat something. So I just went for something really simple and light and boring. So along with my ibuprofen, I just pan fried some of my favorite vegetables along with some tofu. I also kept the seasonings really light as well because I didn't want my migraine to get any worse. So I just did a little bit of salt and pepper. It was a really plain dinner to be honest, but it did the job for the night. And yeah, after this, I just popped some melatonin and passed out. <laughs> we are on day three and once again while i was playing some genshin impact i had a pre-breakfast snack of those peanut butter pretzels and then for my real breakfast i had strawberry cheesecake oats and i will link a video in my pinned comment or in a card if you want to see how it's made but i used these like cinnamon cracker cookie things for the topping in the other video but this video this time i decided to use one of those peanut butter cookies you know the ones that remind me of the girl scout cookies and i would like to say that i definitely prefer this way this breakfast was fire 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend this day was another busy day and I was actually busy. I basically ordered something for store pickup and they had me wait around for like four hours and I'm not someone that's bothered by that. Like I don't like the idea of blaming the workers or anything. So no hard feelings towards them or the company, anything like that. But I spent a lot of time there waiting only for them to tell me that they didn't have what I ordered in stock. So I didn't end up eating a proper lunch. I did have a cliff bar that I bought at the store, but I didn't film it. So I'm sorry about that. But when I got home it was pretty late already as you can see by the lighting so i just made myself some roasted broccoli which i drizzled with balsamic glaze because balsamic glaze makes your vegetables taste a million times better just trust me and then i also had this new kite hill spinach tortellini along with a pan fried sweet earth sausage to have with it and yeah that was my dinner for the night and for dessert i had one of these vegan oatmeal chocolate chip cookies from whole foods as well as a peanut butter cookie so breakfast this day was a very unconventional breakfast for me, but I was really craving some bibimbap, which is a Korean dish if you didn't know. So that's what I decided on. I know it's very off brand, very out of character of me, but I just started with a bed of sticky rice and I added some carrots, some bean sprouts, some spinach, some radish, and then bean sprout kimchi. And then of course I added the tofu and the chili paste. Usually bibimbap, you can have like any protein source you want. It's usually meat. So if you want to have meat, you can do that. And bibimbap is super easy to make and it's one of my favorite meals to eat. So I really enjoyed this. Okay, for a snack, I used to eat these all the time when I was growing up. My parents and I would call them Korean Frisbees, <laughs> but they're just these really large like cereal puff cereal snack things. I don't know. I call them Korean Frisbees, so I'm going to keep calling them that. And they don't have much flavor. They're not that great, honestly, but I love them. It's the nostalgia for me. <laughs> 
For lunch, I had a peanut butter and jelly, which is just such a good combination. Shout out to Julia Davis Chandler. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. For creating this iconic duo, we love to see it. But I just want to take a moment and let myself be in the feels for a second. I just want to let myself be proud of how far I've come. I love peanut butter and jelly so much. And I used to eat it almost every single day when I was a kid. I always ate Uncrustables. My parents probably spent a ridiculous amount of money to feed my Uncrustable addiction. But then when I had an eating disorder, I was petrified of peanut butter and I was petrified of peanut butter and jelly, which when I think about it, it's really sad about how I really used to deprive myself of something that when I was a kid, I used to enjoy so freely. And now that I'm recovered, I forget how far I've actually come. Like this day, I just wanted a PB&J. And without a second thought, I made it, I ate it, and I enjoyed the hell out of it. It might sound stupid to a lot of people, but I don't care because for me, and I know for a lot of people that are either going through or have went through the same thing, that's an amazing victory because when I was recovering, I never thought I'd get to this point. So yeah, go me. <laughs> Dinner time, I had my noodle soup, which is one of my favorite meals. I love noodles so much, oh my gosh. By the way, I get these noodles from the Asian grocery store. I feel like I've shown this a lot, but I still get questions on how I make like the broth of the soup, I guess. So what it is, I usually use vegetable broth or vegan chicken broth, but recently I just found these miso soup packets in the back of my drawer. Not sure when I got them, not sure how they got there, but they weren't expired. So I've just been using those up. And then I add a little bit of soy sauce and and some nuclear noodle sauce and yeah that's pretty much it it's really simple and then i have it with vegetables i like to use broccoli mushroom zucchini and spinach and then i add some tofu and that's it and for dessert i had another one of these oatmeal chocolate chip cookies from whole foods uh, uh, once again along with my tea i had my pre-breakfast snack of peanut butter pretzels while listening to this bop I love that song so much. Oh my God, Stan Blackpink. But anyway, for my actual breakfast, I was craving some peanut butter and banana toast, which is something that I forget that I love so much. And then whenever I have it, I'm like, oh my God, this is some five-star Michelin gourmet meal right here. But yeah, I mean, it's a self-explanatory meal, but it was delicious nonetheless. I also had the rest of this bottle of this banana Koya drink, which I usually never have these on their own. I like to add them to tea and stuff, but I was just craving this today. So I had that along with my toast. And yeah, that was my breakfast. For a snack, I had some chips and salsa, and this, this is a dangerous snack for me. I could eat an absurd amount of chips and salsa. But yeah, I had that, and it was basically part of my lunch because two seconds after eating nearly the entire bag of chips, I made myself a simple everything bagel with cream cheese, and I used this chive Kite Hill cream cheese. My favorite is the jalapeno flavor, but I literally, I can't find it anywhere. I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if they discontinued it or what, but if you know where I can find it, please let your girl know. I miss it. But I spread that on the bagel, and then I added a sprinkle of everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, and that was my lunch. For dinner, I actually asked my Discord what to eat for dinner. I asked them if I should cook or if I should order Thai takeout, and all of them said Thai takeout, so that's what I got. I ordered from one of my favorite Thai places via Uber Eats, and I got this dish that's just mixed vegetables, fried tofu, their fried tofu is so good, oh my god, and sticky rice in a spicy garlic sauce. This is such a freaking good dish, like my mouth is watering while I edit this, but I got that as well as two of these vegetable rolls, spring rolls, summer rolls, I'm really not sure, I'm sorry. Sorry. This dinner was a 10 out of 10. Very much enjoyed it. And for dessert, you guessed it, I had another oatmeal chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> And that is going to conclude this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, if you did enjoy it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But of course, if you absolutely hated it, which I would not blame you for, you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. Comment anything else you would like to see on my channel and subscribe for more content by yours truly. And before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. You are so valid. And I am so so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!